forward here. Okay. So at the beginning, we were talking about this, like, what's our approach to decision making and mm -hmm. or different styles and, and that sort of thing. And so, um, Foxy, any thoughts on that for you? Like, how do you go about decision making and what's yeah. your style? In the past, I would ask a bunch of people what they thought the best mm -hmm. decision was. And then I would make my decision based on that. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm much better about trusting my own ability to know uh, now. Um, there are still times where I'll ask an opinion, but I don't need as many. And if I disagree with the opinion, it, it doesn't change how I feel about it. It usually just makes um, what I think stronger. Um, but, um, but yeah, uh, I, I can make decisions quickly for sure. Um, but there's also decisions where I research it out and I find out everything I can about it because my husband does not make decisions quickly. Mm -hmm. So I have to get all of that information so that he feels comfortable making the decision. And there's lots of decisions that we make that we, we have to equally, you know, make the decision. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so there's some things I can do without his permission, definitely. Mm -hmm. And then there's, there's things that I need, we need to discuss and, and, and decide together. But there's also, I'm, I'm getting, well, I've been kind of bad at this, where I make impulsive decisions. <laughs> and, um, you know, something shows up from Amazon, and I don't remember what I even ordered. <laughs> because I was like, Oh, that's cool. Bye. <laughs> Oh, interesting. So what, but uh, listen to the awareness you have about that. Like, okay, no, this is true. Mm -hmm. And so um, knowing that is, then you can decide, do I, there's another decision point. Like, it, is that working for me? Or is there something that I would like to change about those more impulsive decisions? You know, it doesn't mean because you do it, there's anything wrong with it. If, if it's not, you know, if it's serving, if it's serving you, right? So you have only, you can decide. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of and them I'm do sensing, not serve me. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sensing by your reaction <laughs> that there might well, be a decision you have to make. Yeah. Some of them are like, usually the ones that are not helpful are the ones where I'm like, I'm like, oh, this could help Lily with her problem or this problem mm -hmm. that she's having. And so I get it. And then Lily's like, mm -mm. I don't <laughs> like that. I don't want to do that. And so then I just wasted that money getting it for her. And then I do that with Arisa too. You know, I'm like, oh, there's this new handy dandy vegan thing. Let me get it for her, mm. you know, to make her process easier or for her to get better nutrition or whatever. And then I get it and we don't use it or she doesn't like it or, you know, yeah. and so that's why it's like, I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'm thinking of my kids. I'm going to get this for my kids. And then I'm like, uh-huh. Uh, okay, well, there you go. You get another piece of information to use on your decision on whether or not you want to change that. Okay, we are at the top of the hour. So I'm going to stop.